applying pressure to the max. They told me I'll make it far. They told me I'll make it far. They told me I'll make it far. I'm just trapping out the car. I need a hundred grand large. Free my homies out of bar. They told me I'll make it far. I'm just trapping out the car. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show. I'm Jabari Harris. I'm your host and the proprietor. And on this episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show, I got to simply get y'all an update what's going on. There was some news that I didn't get to dress from last week's news. Obviously, plenty of things have been going on even uh, in the last 48 hours or so in the sports world. Uh, so we just got to update on some more sports news. Uh, ain't going to be... Uh, here too long as episode got my episode coming up this Thursday stay tuned for that that's going to be on the local community access channel channel 16 uh, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. every Thursday fresh bar sports show on local community access channel 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. every Thursday also why why I got your time right now please subscribe to the YouTube page please let's run it up subscribe to the YouTube channel fresh bar sports show also um, Apple podcast Spotify podcast, Spotify also Facebook page, if you're not already, follow the uh, Fresh Bar Sports Show Instagram page as well. Got to give a shout out to my uh, sponsors. You need fresh care, fresh clothing, go to Cash Baby Clothing Brand. Also, needing good uh, getting fresh bakery for Donna or Delights. And also, intro music to the Fresh Bar Sports Show, Jody Blow Music. So, like I said, I ain't going to be wasting your time too much. Uh, nice Monday, Monday evening going on, uh, getting ready for the work week. So, just going to keep it light right now. Like I said, Thursday episode coming up. Working on something. Uh, just work on confirmation. Hopefully, everything go good. And, uh, and uh, got some uh, some uh, special lined up for you guys uh, for the Thursday audience, 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. on the local community access channel. And don't worry about it. I'm definitely going to get that on the other platforms once it's over on the live TV show. Uh, let's get into these, the sports news. Got to congratulate the women's uh, soccer team. The U.S. women's soccer team, national soccer team, they won their, their opener against uh, Vietnamese 3 to 0. So, Chris, just want to salute them on that. Also, uh, I'm going to be bouncing around for a uh, couple of different notes, uh, news, excuse me, because I got stuff that I need to address that I didn't get this chance to, you know, talk about last week. News, and then, like I said, from news uh, transpiring from. This week already, this weekend as well. Excuse me. Uh, former cornerback Akib Talib, his brother Yakib Salik to be, he pleads guilty in the murder case stemming from the 2022 shooting at the youth football league. So, I mean, uh, I don't know what the sentence is going to be for, for you know for that, but uh, he stepped in responsibility for that. He's not running away from that, so just want to salute him on, on that. Obviously, what he did was definitely um, a foolish act. You know, somebody, you know, regardless of him, uh, you know, admitting fault, admitting wrongdoing, being remorseful. Obviously, you know, th- there still have been a life that been lost. So, uh, you know, um, there's, you know, regardless, there's no brain, uh, bringing the life that that been lost back. But um, glad he's, uh, you know, not running from this, accepting responsibility. And obviously, you know, whatever punishment doled out to him, it should be fair because, um, you know, especially in that, it, it, you know, it was no justification for that, uh, you know, for him to, you know, you know, take somebody's life in that situation, especially at a youth football league, you put, you know, kids and everybody else at risk. So uh, that's just what's going on in that situation. Got some basketball news. Hawks, shout out to my ATL Hawks. They shot. They signed guard Wesley Matthews to a one-year deal. You know, I like that. That give him some size. Uh, you know, he's not no scorer like that, but that give him some size. You know, get some good effort on defense and stuff like that. So I'm not. I'm not mad. Deontay Murray got to step up. All in all, Deontay Murray got to step up. If not, they got to get another true bona fide bucket go getter over there to help Trey Young out because. Deontay Murray been up, up and down all season long, and especially in the playoffs, no show. Yeah, we know. So, um, yeah, the Hawks, they're still a piece away. And when I say in the piece away, a true 
consistent scorer, just like Trey Young, not the inconsistency that with uh, Deontay Murray was uh, displaying last year. Maybe he have a bounce back year this, uh, this season, Deontay Murray. So uh, we're just gonna stay tuned for that in the early part of the season. Also, getting back to the football news real quick: Jaguars defensive back Chris Claybrooks was arrested and charged with domestic uh, domestic battery and false imprisonment uh, this past Friday. That would be making his second arrest in the past four months involving some type of domestic assault charge. Really? Young fella, they about to sit you down and, um, I mean, you should learn from other people's lessons because they uh, have plenty of examples for you to, to learn from prior to getting into yourself in the first situation. Now you do a second situation less than four months. You already know they're coming down strong hitting you with the hammer. So that's what you brought on yourself. You want to have two domestic violence charges in the past four months. And like I said, there's plenty of examples of what not to do But uh, before you. I mean, you, you're lucky they don't suspend you the whole season. That's how the NFL gets down. So we'll be uh, staying tuned for the NFL's punishment on that. I uh, appreciate everybody tuning in to, 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 uh, to the live feed. Want to get to some other... Oh, excuse me. This is out of the uh, Duval County area. Excuse me. That was out of the Duval County area. Want to move on to another situation. These guys are just, just being real foolish in the NFL. I'm going to botch his last name, so forgive me. Broncos DN. Imani Yewazerki suspended for at least one year for what? We just talk about I, I believe we feel like we talk about it like every other week on the first board sports show because something keep happening. Well, he gets suspended for the, for at least one year. The gambler betting on uh, games in the 2022 uh, season. And they let y'all bet. Anyways, it's just not on the sport or on the facility. What, what's, what's so hard about that? And they paying y'all, you know what I mean, good, good, good money anyways on top of that, that all, all things being considered. I want to keep betting on y'all. So you got the inside source, inside trading going on, all that. No, you can't be doing that. And we give me all pass, go bet on other sports. Just not the sport that you're playing on, especially on our facility. I understand maybe the first couple that's being foolish. But come on, man. We got a long, whole, whole laundry list of examples in the past two years of play, from Calvin Rudley to, to, you know, everything that's going on with you and everything in between the Colts players, the Detroit Lions players, et cetera, et cetera. Like, come on now. What is it, about 11, 12 players busted with the, with the gambling in the past two years? What are we talking about here? This is ridiculous. Step it up. Oh, man. I just got to leave that on. Because these, 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 it's like every other week. They're not, they not getting it. They are not getting it. Every other week, they're not getting it. That's where I'm at with it. Whatever punishment NFL give it to them, because they being foolish. They know. Too many examples. Goes on. And this all, and, and especially this offseason, ain't nothing but examples every other week. They trying to find a way around it. No, ain't nothing find a way around it. All right, let me get into some other news. Boxer Javante Davis was released from Baltimore uh, jail after 44 days last Friday. So just, uh, you know, just want to shout that out and hopefully uh, he, you know, stay out of trouble and uh, keep his head. Hey, you know, head up and keep his nose clean and um, get get his head back in the game and, and, and you know get get focusing, get locked in on getting back in the ring and doing his thing. You know, and staying committed to that. Uh, Got to shout out tennis, uh, Carlos uh, Zeras wins his first Wimbledon title in epic uh, fashion, defeating Novak G, uh, Djokovic in. Five sets. Man, this is crazy. UFC fight. 
Uh, excuse me, UFC Fight Night event. Manu, Bruno, Salvius, upsets Holly, uh, Holly Holmes. And the second round via standing Gallic. Yeah, that's a, like a chokehold. It's crazy. Yeah, they um her uh Holly Home her 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 winning streak, her championship days, I think that's that's over. Oh Mark uh Marquetta. I'm about to I don't wanna botch it. Marquetta, I don't wanna botch the last name. Defeats Jonas Gibro and Wimbledon Ladies Finals for the first Grand Slam title. So congratulations to her. Also, for the Kyotos, uh, that's the hockey team. Alex Gilehek. Q. Uh, I guess that's, that's a Russian name. These 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 last names. It's a Russian name. Police report. He repeatedly hurled racial slurs and made threats to kill officers after a traffic stop this past weekend. You know the court has terminated Alex's contract immediately. They're not playing that. And it's good for him, and that means, and it's good that he got his uh, his uh, contract terminated. Scottsdale police report said Alex was erratic and aggressive towards officers after apparently crashing uh, his car into a street sign. I mean, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. That's why I'm like this guy, drunk. Under the influence, so out of his right mind, he probably was his right mind. Anybody just talking crazy because he, yeah, he felt like he, he he meant what he was saying. Uh, and it, you know, especially the way they were describing it, didn't seem like it was his first time. The way they was coming off his tongue with this racial service. Yeah, so uh, yeah, it like justice be served on that one. Um. Excuse me. Superstar David Beckham. We're gonna get into this because I, of course, we gotta talk about what, what, what took place in the game. But I didn't get to talk about the announcement. Superstar David Beckham was there to help introduce Lionel Messi uh, to the sold out stadium. They sold out the stadium for for, for his introduction at the DRV Pink Stadium. Lionel Lionel Messi he made his debut against uh he made his uh his his league debut against or uh, it's not on this note excuse me yeah I'm, I'm bumping from notes to notes I guess though I can't find it on this note okay so he he made his debut against I don't know. I can't find it. I don't know why it's not on the, my notes. But anyways, uh, I believe it was Al's Cruz. Al's Cruz. He made his debut. Uh, yes. Yeah, I can't find it right here. So he made his debut this past Friday. Did his thing. Well, played the second half, didn't start the first half. Uh, either, that's a whole situation because he just got them playing his, his season. He was in the off season mode, so it was, you know, I mean, I guess he could have started, but just let us get his way back in since this, their MLS season already been going on. There was no need for him just to, like, start to get let him fill his way into it. Uh, so. He got in. He played the whole second second. Excuse me, I'm, I'm just trying to think about it. He played his whole second half. I don't. Know, I mean, I don't know what the technical is. He, he, it was a penalty kick, and he had to do a penalty kick 
at the end of the game, you know, like it's the last two minutes of the game, whatever, and made the the penalty kick over the goalie. You know, game winning goal, pretty much. Game over. That was that. Um, you had stars in the building, such as um, LeBron James. Um, excuse me, Kim Kardashian. You got uh, David Beckham, obviously. Who else? Uh, I think I, I saw a Tristan Thompson sighting in there. Uh, also, of course, Serena Williams, which you mean you already know. That, that's just the name of who. But the, the name of the team was Cruz Azul. Cruz Azul. Who the uh, Miami, uh, Miami team beat. So, I mean... Sold out stadium for the introduction. Sold out game. I mean, he's, he's you know got celebrities out there in the building in, in the stadium. He's definitely causing a ruckus around here. I mean, he's definitely uh, got this you know that Miami area in the buzz and bringing celebrities flocking to that area. And that's you know is going to continue to bring in more money for that for the for the Miami area. You know the city and for, for the state. You know as a whole. So I mean, they're going to be good. They, I mean, that's definitely going to bring some attention. To, you know. You know, money and attention to to, to to MLS, to Miami, even more so than what is already was, was going there. So I mean, it's a win-win. It's a beautiful thing. I mean, obviously they consider him the greatest of of, of all time. It should have been nothing. You know, this is nothing like this. Is like the kind of like this is this is what he do. Only for the simple fact because uh, he dominated the other leagues that so superior to this, and everybody knows. Everybody knows this is like the baby league in a compared to soccer. Like how there's multiple NBA leagues. I mean, multiple, multiple professional leagues. That's not the NBA. And the NBA is a top notch. Yeah, uh, somebody has to be the worst, whatever the worst is. Um, MLS, our major league soccer, it just is pretty much the worst out of the different pro leagues. That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what the experts say. Um, but I digress. Simple start charges against Titans. Linebacker Richard Weaver has been dropped. The criminal case has been canceled. Weaver's trial was set to begin Tuesday. It was canceled. So, looks like somebody just changed their mind on that. Also, I mean, this wasn't really newsworthy, but it took place last week. And it's just part of the, the things that I got addressed and let it be known. I mean, y'all y- y- already know how I feel about the summer league stuff. You know, it is what it is. I ain't, I ain't worried about it too much. I, I, ninety percent of those players are not even gonna be playing in the in, in the league to see this this season. I mean, I'm just I'm just calling call them what it is. It's just facts. And they ain't no knocking them. They in the G League. They can play in two way contracts. They, they they. But I'm just talking about the level of the competition. Nah, dog, that ain't it. Um, th- that's good for people to prove themselves and all that stuff and, and, and fight for your awesome, obviously roster spots, all that. I'm just talking about for you know from a fan's point of view, from a, 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 a you know a media perspective, and just a, a you know pure entertaining uh, respect. Nah, that's not that's, that's that's not what I'm here for. Uh, but you know, I'm just letting y'all know because what, what, good or bad. Um, let me say, win or loss, don't take nothing out of that. Don't then don't care. I don't care about none of that. I need to see the individual how they're going about their business. Because, no, I'm not asking you to necessarily be diving after for loose balls out there because this ain't no playoff game and none of that, anything significant. But I need to see the aggressiveness, the tensions there, and not necessarily going through the motions. I need to see you going through your motions of being locked into being engaged. That's the motions I need to be seeing you going through, you know. But the Cavaliers... 99-78 over the Rockets to win the NBA Summer League Championship. Uh, the Cavaliers first Summer League Championship, whatever the case may be. Isaiah Mobley, 28 points. 11 rebounds wins the Summer League MVP. There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, Stillers. I just want to shout him out because he's, he well deserves his money. He's well deserved his money, and he earned, and he got it. He, he, yeah, I mean, he got it from the grind. He got it the hard way. Linebacker Alex Smith. 
you know, he's the guy that played the backup to T.J. Watt. Then he earned a start spot, so now he's playing the other side of T.J. Watt. Yeah, that guy. He signs a four-year, $68 million contract extension. Well-deserved. 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 Because, um, like I say, he definitely earned that, and he definitely deserved that. So, congratulations to Alex Highsmith on the new pay that. You know what I mean? Next time we go out together, uh, drinks on you. You know what I'm saying? Matter, matter of fact, dinner on you. You know what I mean? You, you, you got it. So, you know, but um, ready for the season to start still. Ready for us to get season to start and get busy. Now, this is the, uh, got a little bit of open news championship. Brian Harmon wins the open championship for his first career major title tournament. And he said he just can't wait to, uh, you know, get back to his land and turn his phone off and get lost into his world and doing what he do. I ain't mad at you, man. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. You just keep it real simple. It ain't, it ain't for the glistening grandmas. Turn, turn, turn my phone off. Don't want to be bothered. Not no near lit. You know, living my simple life. It's congratulations. Uh... Congratulations to um, Harmon on his uh, first major uh, title. You, man, you can't. Yo, I'm telling you, you can't make this up. Some things, some things, just like sells themselves. Some things just explains everything for themselves, and some things is just like, like really, like there ain't no, there ain't nothing that you trying to cover this up. Whatever that you do. Whatever that you did, the story that you're trying to come up with, man, I'm going to need a little more than this. And the details that they got out right now, that they let them be known to the masses, to the public. Y'all like, you know, but man, you, you, you missing some spots, man. You need to fill in these blanks. Because, man, you got some, some holes in your stories. Because uh, this ain't it, man. And uh, we all know there are always cover-up stories for, you know, different injuries or whatever the case may be. Cause you don't want to tell the real reason how you got the injury. Cause you're liable, you know, get penalized, get the contract cut up, you know, ripped up, not avoid, you know, things of that nature. Yo, yo, you don't want those problems. So Bill's running back, Naeem Himes, age 26, expecting to miss the whole season with a knee injury to the ACL, ACL injury after being struck by a jet ski. Now, you know what I'm saying. So, you was just chilling on the edge of the beach. And a jet ski came in and, 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 and got you right on lane like that. Or don't tell me you was out there riding on the jet ski scene and, and, and you and your partners crashed into each other. Don't tell me the, don't tell me the latter. Do not tell me the latter. Or, or, or C, third choice or whatever the case may be. It's none of those stories at all. You covered enough for something even even worse. Because they said that how or when ain't been disclosed to the public. What I'm supposed to do with that? I can't. I, I can't wait to uh, pry this story open because uh, we need more. Yeah, we need more because uh, Bill's y'all going for this. This is it. Nobody doing it. Nobody gonna do their due diligence and, and, and uh, sources say. I can't hear poor sir, per sources. Multiple reports. I can't hear none of that. Yeah, we, gonna, we, 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 we gonna have to do some research to see what's going on because uh, there's, there, 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 there's, there's something about the jet ski, really. So I, I, I need to know what you standing at the... I need to know what you was doing because I'm going to stand at the edge of the beach type, type of person myself. That's what I do. So if I got I'm standing at the edge of the beach and I'm still liable to get, get hit by jet skis, let me know that. Let me know that I need to be aware of that. That's all. Yeah, I got to think of one more news before we get about it here. Because um, I actually just saw this before I came on here. Dolphins wide receiver Tyree Hill. You already know. We take care of this settlement. Undisclosed to the public. Uh, from the Miami uh, Beach Marina incident standing oh, stemming last from last month. So yeah, he settled that thing out of court. We ain't even gonna get there. We ain't even gonna do all that. But everybody, please enjoy your Monday, enjoy the rest of your week. We're just getting it started. You know, get through the week so we can enjoy the weekend. 
Let's go hard. Let's go strong. You already know I'm going to be catching y'all Thursday, 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. Community Access Channel. Please tap in 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. at the Community Access Channel, Channel 16. Uh, every Thursday, 6 p.m. Actually, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's run it up. Uh, the podcast, Apple Podcast, excuse me, and um, Spotify. Subscribe to those, please. It's fight week. Terrence Crawford versus Errol Spence. It's here. This Saturday. What we all been waiting for. You know we tuned in. You know we locked in. This is what, this is what we've been waiting for. Yeah, we're still going to address that situation further more on Thursday. You know, uh, but you already know where I'm going with that. But yeah, we're definitely going to chop it up more about, the, about that fight on, on Thursday. It's another episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show. We're going to let it cook, let it marinate, let it bubble up. Stay tuned for the next episode of Fresh Bar Sports Show coming to you Thursday, 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. Every Thursday, 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. Local Community Access Channel. We out.